Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by financetechnicians.com. The topic under consideration is the accounting equation. To begin with, we'll just consider what is the accounting equation. And basically, it is a formula. And it is a formula upon which the balance sheet is based. And we know that the balance sheet is also known as the statement of financial position and it's also simply just a list of assets and liabilities as at a given date so the account equation is a formula upon which the balance sheet is based and it states the following very simply it states that assets must equal liabilities and therefore, it will be hugely helpful to have a clear understanding of definitions concerning assets and liabilities. And in order to do that, we'll have a look here at assets. Assets basically are resources that are engaged, so resources engaged by an organization or a business, with an org for short, that will create or facilitate the creation of future economic benefits. When you think about that, if you have a, an organization or a business and it has a factory that produces, let's say, tables, the machinery that are used in the long term to create those particular tables, that particular product, are assets of the business because the business is engaging them to produce products that can be sold for the future for a monetary value and therefore it's creating future economic benefits. You can also think of other assets such as a motor vehicle or a premises or whatever the case may be. They are all examples of assets. Next up we need to look at this business about liabilities. What is a liability? So liabilities at their most basic, liabilities are debts due, debts due to third parties. When we talk about debts due to third parties, we mean monies that are owed to third parties, and at some stage in the future, they need to be paid. In relation to the formula, the liabilities can be split into two aspects. They can be split into third parties, who are not owners and also owners of the business so money's owed to the owners of the business so we need to be aware of this when we look at a business and we will see a breakdown of the balance sheet whereby third parties are separated from the owner's equity of the business let's have a little look at an example to delve into this just a little bit deeper so we're going to have a look at an example a very simple example for starters that might be easier for you to relate to. Let's look at the formula. The formula says that assets must equal liabilities. Now let's just say the asset in question is a house. And this is a house that you want to buy and the house is valued at 500,000. But you don't have 500,000. So where do you go? You go to a bank and you get a loan. And let's say the bank offers you a loan of 100% that lend you all the money to buy the property. So now you have an asset of a house that equals the liability. If you think about this, third parties here is the bank. So the third party in this instance is the bank. In relation to you, the owner of the property, you have no stake in this yet because you haven't paid any of that loan back. So the bank effectively has a full claim on that particular house there. Now, a number of years down the line, what can happen is that a chunk of this loan gets paid down, and let's just assume that the house stays at the same value. So let's just say the house remains at 500K, it hasn't moved in value either up nor down, and let's just say the loan has dropped to 300K because you've been making your mortgage repayments. Now we have a situation where the assets and the liabilities do not match. There's a 200K shortfall. But based on this formula that assets equal liabilities, we know that we need to add to that 200K. And what is that 200K? 
it is your owner's equity, i.e. your share of this property here. And when you think about it, if at this particular point in time, you decided to sell that property, and you got 500K when you sell that property, you would give 300K back to the bank, and you would retain 200K for yourself. That's all that means. That's one simple example. But now we need to look at another example in a business context. Again, we're gonna keep it relatively straightforward here. We'll look at an example whereby an individual called Kim sets up a business. And as part of this, Kim decides to lodge money into a bank account. So Kim, let's say, lodges 20,000, 20K into the business, into business bank account. And what we need to do is reflect this in the assets equal liabilities, the accounting equation formula. So we just go down here and we put down here, assets equals liabilities. And we need to take this information here and populate the formula itself. So this should be reasonably straightforward. 20K puts it into the bank. So the asset of the business is bank 20K. So what is the liability here? There are no third party liability. There's only owner's liability because Kim put the money in. So we will put that down as owner's equity. Equity of 20K. Now we have 20K of assets and 20K worth of liabilities. The accounting equation balances. So that's the first transaction we've dealt with. Let's look at another transaction. Let's say Kim buys 5K of stock on credit. So it means that no money changes hands. Kim gets this on credit and has to pay it at some point in the future. So how is the accounting equation going to change here based on this information? Well, there's an asset and there's a liability created here. So the asset is going to be 5K and that's actually going to be stock. That's the asset. So the liability is going to be a third party liability because it's going to be the supplier who is a trade creditor. So the supplier is going to be owed 5K. And you look at it this way, based on this, we have 25K worth of assets and 25K worth of liabilities. And in, in this simple example, it's quite obvious that the claim on the monies in the bank is from Kim, who's the owner, because Kim put the monies in. The claim on the stock is from the supplier because the supplier has given the stock to Kim um, on credit for a period of time. Now, let's look at another transaction here. Let's just say Kim pays 5K to supplier of stock. How's that gonna impact here? Well, when you think about it, it means that 5K is gonna come out of the bank account. So now the bank account is gonna to drop to 15K. And now assets are gonna be 15 plus five is 20K. So we have 20K now here, but we have 25K on this side. But if we've taken 5K out of the bank account and we paid off this supplier, this liability no longer exists. So now we have 20K. So now the assets equals the liabilities. Just be aware that every asset of an organization or a business has a claim upon it. And that claim is either from a third party or the owners of the business. Every asset has a claim upon it. Beware of that. Assets equals liabilities, and liabilities can be to the third party or the owners of the business. That effectively is what the accounting equation states. We have now established what the accounting equation is and how it's affected by transactions. We have now concluded this tutorial. Thank you for watching.